through the prayers of our holy fathers o lord jesus christ our god have mercy upon us and save us amen glory to you our god glory to you O heavenly king the comforter spirit of truth everywhere present and filling all things treasury of blessings and giver of life come and dwell in us cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls o good one holy god holy mighty holy immortal have mercy on us holy god holy mighty holy immortal have mercy on us holy god holy mighty holy immortal have mercy on us glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit now and ever into the ages of ages amen all holy trinity have mercy on us lord cleanse us from our sins master pardon our transgressions holy one visit us and heal our infirmities for your name's sake lord have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit now and ever into the ages of ages amen our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one amen lord have mercy and lord have mercy and lord have mercy and lord have mercy lord have mercy and lord have mercy and lord have mercy and lord have mercy Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, into the ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. my god my god look upon me why have you forsaken me through the prayers of the birth giver of god savior save us the words of my transgressions keep me from my salvation through the prayers of the birth giver of god savior save us O oh my God, I cry in the daytime, but you answer not. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. But you, the praise of Israel, dwell in the sanctuary. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Through the prayers of the birth giver of God, Savior, save us. O God, why have you cast us off forever? O Son of God, who was crucified in the flesh, save us who sing to you alleluia remember your congregation which you have purchased of old O son of god who was crucified in the flesh save us who sing to you alleluia this is mount zion where you have dwelt O Son of God, who was crucified in the flesh, save us who sing to you, alleluia. But God is our King of old. He has fashioned salvation in the midst of the earth. O Son of God, who was crucified in the flesh, save us who sing to you, alleluia. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Only begotten Son and Word of God, you are immortal. For our salvation you deign to be incarnate of the holy birth-giver of God and ever-Virgin Mary. 
and without change became man and was crucified. O Christ, our God, trampling down death by death, you are one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and the Holy Spirit. Save us. The Lord reigns, let the people be inspired. He sits upon the cherubim, let the earth be moved. O Son of God, who was crucified in the flesh, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. The Lord is great in Zion, and he is high above all the people. O Son of God, who was crucified in the flesh, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Let them give thanks to your great name, for it is holy. O Son of God, who was crucified in the flesh, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. Exalt the Lord our God, and worship at his footstool, for he is holy. O Son of God, who was crucified in the flesh, save us who sing to you, Alleluia. O Lord, save your people, and bless your inheritance. Grant victory to your faithful people over their enemies. And by your cross, preserve your community. You blossomed in the courts of the Lord as a fruitful olive tree, O holy martyr Sophia. In your contest you offered to Christ the sweet fruit of your womb, love, hope, and faith. With them intercede for us all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Faith, hope, and love, holy branches of noble Sophia, by grace made Greek wisdom foolishness. They have contested and won the victory, and have been crowned by Christ, the Master of all. Now and ever into the ages of ages. Amen. Christ God, as you were voluntarily raised on the cross, grant your bounties to the new nation bearing your name. Make all your devout faithful glad through your power, granting them victory over their enemies through the invincible trophy, your weapon of peace. We venerate your cross, O Master, and your holy resurrection, we glorify, we venerate your cross, O Master, and your holy resurrection. We glorify, we venerate your cross, O Master, 
and your holy resurrection we glorify glory to the father and to the son and to the holy spirit now and ever into the ages of ages amen and your holy resurrection we glorify we venerate your cross O Master and your holy resurrection we glorify Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool, for holy is he. The Lord reigns, let the people tremble. Exalt the Lord our God and worship at his footstool, for holy is he. Exalt the Lord our God in worship at his footstool, for holy is he. The reading from the second epistle of the Holy Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. Brethren, for I consider that I am not at all inferior to the most eminent apostles, even though I am untrained in speech, yet I am not in knowledge. But we have been thoroughly manifested among you in all things. Did I commit sin in humbling myself that you might be exalted, because I preached the gospel of God to you free of charge? I robbed other churches, taking wages from them to minister to you. And when I was present with you and in need, I was a burden to no one. For what I lacked, the brethren who came from Macedonia supplied. And in everything I kept myself from being burdensome to you, and so I will keep myself. As the truth of Christ is in me, no one shall stop me from boasting in the regions of Achaia. Why? Because I do not love you? God knows. But, I, but what I do, I will also continue to do, that I may cut off the opportunity from those who desire an opportunity to be regarded just as we are in the things of which they boast. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into apostles of Christ. And no wonder, for Satan himself transforms himself into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if, if, if his ministers also transform themselves into ministers of righteousness, whose end will be according to their works. I say again, let no one think me a fool. If otherwise, at least receive me as a fool, that I also may boast a little. What I speak, I speak not according to the Lord, but as it were, foolishly, in this confidence of boasting seeing that many boast according to the flesh, I also will boast. For you put up with fools gladly, since you yourselves are wise. For you put up with it if, if, if one brings you into bondage, if one devours you, if one takes from you, if one exalts himself, if one strikes you on the face. To our shame, I say that we were too weak for that. But in whatever anyone is bold, I speak foolishly, I am bold also. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Remember your congregation which you have gathered up from of old. Alleluia, alleluia, 
Hallelujah. God is our King of old. He has fashioned salvation in the midst of the earth. Alleluia. 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 The reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. At that time, Jesus began to teach beside the sea, and a very large crowd gathered about him, so that he got into a boat and sat in it on the sea. And the whole crowd was beside the sea on the land, and he taught them many things in parables. And in his teaching he said to them, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell along the path and the birds came and devoured it. Other seed fell on rocky ground, and it had not much soil, and immediately it sprang up, since it had no depth of soil. And when the sun rose, it was scorched, and since it had no root, it withered away. Other seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it, and it yielded no grain. And other seeds fell into good soil, and brought forth grain, growing up and increasing and yielding thirtyfold and sixtyfold and a hundredfold. And he said, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Remember us, O Lord, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Master, when you come into your kingdom. Remember us, O Holy One, when you come into your kingdom. The choirs of heaven chant to you and say, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Approach, be enlightened, and you will not be made to blush. The choirs of holy archangels and angels, with all the bodiless powers of heaven, chant to you, saying, Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord God of Sabaoth. Heaven and earth are filled with your glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, being of one essence with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became man, who was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose from the dead, in accordance with the Scriptures, and ascended into heaven, and sits at the right hand of the Father. And he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. O Lord our God, who by a word alone healed all diseases, who cured the kinswoman of Peter of fever, you that chastise with pity and heal according to your goodness, who are able to put aside every sickness and infirmity, may you, the same Lord, grant aid to your servants, all the residents 
of the St. Pantaleman Ministry who are ill and afflicted, all of our relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who have asked us to remember them in our prayers, unworthy though our prayers may be, especially Father Daniel, Father John, Father Mark, Matushka Catherine, Matushka Myra, Marion, Catherine, Pamela, Marianne, Marianne, Patricia, Patricia, Robert, Timothy, Patricia, Diana, Diana, and all of those we cannot call to mind, and those who have no one to pray for them, and cure them of every sickness of which they are grieved, and send down upon them your great mercy. And if it be your will, give to them health and a complete recovery. For you are the physician of our souls and bodies, and to you we send up glory, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Christ, our eternal King and God, you have destroyed death and the devil by your cross, and have restored man to life by your resurrection. Give rest, O Lord, to the souls of your servants, all the residents of the St. Pantaleon Ministry who have departed this life, all of our departed relatives, loved ones, and friends, those who are newly departed, especially Father Anastasi, Father Leonard, Father Sergei, Father Serhi, and all those we cannot call to mind, and indeed all those who have departed this life throughout the ages, in your kingdom where there is no pain, sorrow, or suffering. In your goodness and love for mankind, pardon all the sins they have committed in thought, word, or deed. For there is no one who lives and sins not. You only are without sin. For you are the resurrection, the life, and the repose of your servants who have departed this life, O Christ our God. And to you we send up glory, with your eternal Father, and your all-holy, good, and life-creating Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O God, absolve, remit, and pardon our voluntary and involuntary sins, in word and deed, known and unknown, by day and by night, in mind and thought. Forgive us all in your goodness and love for the human race. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Holy Trinity, co-essential might, kingdom undivided, source of all good, be gracious to me a sinner, establish and give understanding to my heart, Remove every defilement from me, enlighten my mind, that I may continually glorify, chant hymns, and worship you, saying, One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord, henceforth and forevermore. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall be continually in my mouth. My soul will be praised by the Lord. 
Let the meek hear and be glad. Magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he answered me, and he delivered me out of all my troubles. Come to him and be radiant, and your faces will not be ashamed. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord will camp around those who fear him, and will deliver them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who hopes in him. Fear the Lord, all you his saints, because those who fear him lack nothing. The rich become poor and hungry, but those who seek the Lord will not be in want of anything good. Magnify, O my soul, the most precious cross of the Lord. You are the mystical paradise birth giver of God, in which Christ blossomed. Through him the life-bearing wood of the cross was planted on the earth. Now at its exaltation as we venerate it, we magnify you. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. O Lord, bless. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Amen. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Grant victory to your faithful people over their enemies, and by your cross preserve your community. You blossomed in the courts of the Lord as a fruitful olive tree, O holy martyr Sophia. In your contest you offer to Christ the sweet fruit of your womb of hope and faith. With them intercede for us all.